Hey guys, it's Justin here. So after recently giving myself a bit of a smile makeover with some porcelain veneers, I did some research online, a lot of research, and decided it would be a good idea to document my journey and my experience and share it with you guys. Now, one thing that people have said to me since having this done is that my teeth were fine before, which they were, they were fine. I just wanted them to be amazing. I wanted to look in the mirror and be 100% happy with what I was seeing every single time. Another big reason for having this done is I recently lost a lot of weight and I've been concentrating on making my outside look more like I feel on the inside. So I keep fit and I eat well and it's always a project that I'm working on. So it all started with an early morning flight up to the Gold Coast in sunny Queensland, Australia, a beautiful part of the world. And even though it was an early morning flight, I was so excited. I was like a kid on Christmas. I just could not wait to get up there and have this procedure done. But I guess before we get to what my teeth look like after, I should really do a little rewind and show you guys um, what they look like before I did anything to them. So let's check that out. Things that I want to get fixed are, my teeth tend to look a little bit dull. They kind of lose their whiteness quite a bit. Um, so I want them to be really, really white. They're not perfectly straight, so I have a little bit of overlapping on some of my teeth, like uh, these ones here. They kind of overlap my big teeth. Um, one of them has a chip out of it as well. While they're not terrible, they're not amazing, and I want them to be amazing. So I can get, wait, I'll get a little bit closer. See, not great, not terrible, but I guess, when you see me next time, that'll be amazing. Phase one of my teeth has been completed. Uh, I wanted to fill you in on what I've done so far. So I had my appointment with my dentist yesterday. I had a consultation with him. He was awesome. We talked through what I wanted, what I'd had done in the past, what kind of state my teeth were in at the moment, which was really important because I didn't realize you can't just go and have veneers. You have to obviously have a really stable dental structure. I mean, they can do stuff for you and things like that, but it's not as straightforward as what you think it is, or so I found out yesterday. We just sort of talked through what was gonna happen uh, from that point onwards. So once I'd had my scale and clean, which is really good, not nice at the time, but good to have done, because your teeth feel so clean afterwards. Then once we'd done that, there was a lot of preparation work that was done, so, there's just no way to say this other than they shave your teeth down. I was at the dentist for about four hours. Um, that included my consultation, the prep work for the veneers, and also I had my bottom teeth bleached as well because I'm having eight veneers on my top. I need my bottom teeth to be as white as what they're going to be. So we bleached those. I had three 15 minute sessions in the zoom whitening. And as you can see, they look pretty white. Now what I've got on the top here they actually took a mold of my teeth when I first went in. And I thought that they were gonna put individual temporary veneers on until I go back and have my proper veneers. But what they do is they take an imprint of your teeth. Then when you get to the end of you know, your treatment for the day, they put that mold onto your teeth. So at the moment I have a whiter, kind of rougher version of my own teeth on at the moment. I have these on for a couple of days and then I'll go back and have my new veneers put on which are being made as we speak. They'll be a slightly different shape, they'll be the right colour, but for the time being I do have this temporary uh, veneer kind of thing on, which has given me a bit of a lisp, which is like cute slash annoying. I think it's really cruel how the word lisp has an S in it. It's so mean. But I think it's because it's something foreign that's in my mouth. And I keep, it's got like little grooves and stuff all over it, which I keep running my tongue over. Is that weird? Does everyone do that? It's so strange. I'm very, very excited about the end result. And if there's anything that I can tell you so far, is if you're slightly frightened of going to the dentist, just do what I did and think, I'm so excited for the end result. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I wanna do this, I'm not sure if I can sit in the dentist's chair for four hours, just think, at the end of it, you're gonna have an amazing smile. Uh, so I'll show you up close. You can see they're pretty white. Bottom teeth have been whitened. Top teeth are just fakies for now. And then on Friday, I get the end result. So see you then. Okay, so here they are. 
I'll show you nice and up close. You can see they are white, they are straight, they are exactly what I wanted. And I was so excited when the dentist finished because he said, well, I'm happy with those. And I thought, well, if you're happy with them, then I'm happy with them. This whole experience has been so amazing. I can't recommend it enough to anyone who wants to have this procedure done. If you have got any questions about what to expect, I have done another video which covers off everything in a lot more detail. But if you want to ask me anything, just leave me a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer it for you. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and until next time bye there were some really good tips that people gave um, that I took one of them being if you're gonna have your veneers done I tell you this you usually have two sittings a four-hour appointment and a two-hour appointment make sure you put